everlasting life. Everlasting life by Jesus Christ through God. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The life. John wrote, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wrath of God upon Jesus Christ for not believing upon Jesus Christ, you will suffer the wrath of God. And when I said the wrath of God upon Jesus, Jesus died and went to hell. That those who believe on him will not have to go to hell. Jesus Christ died and went into hell and deposited our sins. The payment has already been made. And if you refuse that payment by Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell for all eternity paying for your own sins. You can pay for your sins. It's hell. You can pay for your own sins. It's torment. But you can trust Jesus Christ for the payment of your sins. The Lamb of God which take away the sin in the world. You can put your faith on that and be absent from the body. And forever to be with God in heaven. And in heaven... You will get a new body. You'll get a sinless body. Are you tired your body breaking down, injured, sore? You tired your body getting old in glory through Jesus Christ, the Bible says a new body. A body that will not ever suffer pain. Will never be no more sorrows. Tears wiped away forever. Forever. And you gotta put your faith in the finished work. You have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ or you will not get admitted into heaven. You will not approach God and be okay without Jesus Christ. God does not accept works. God does not accept religion. God's for sure not going to accept atheism. He doesn't accept science. What else he got? What else can make you safe? What else can get you to God? The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, worthy. No name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. That name is to be praised by all names. Jesus Christ. He suffered and died. According to the scriptures. Jesus bless you. Thank you, ma'am. I love Jesus. Amen. Amen. They don't. <laughs> Amen. Father, so you preach every day? Just Saturdays right now, Lord willing. Thank you. He was buried as you would do with any dead man. You take a dead body and practically bury it. I know there's other means of burial, but you put it in the ground. They did that to Jesus. They've done that with many a man. And yet Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, three days and three nights, came out of that grave, proclaimed by the angels. He is not here. He is risen. You can't say that about religion. When you bury a person in religion, they stay buried. And if their faith and trust is in that religion, they are in a place called hell. Tormented. But if their faith and trust is in Jesus Christ, with the heart, with the mouth, the Bible says, when they die, absent from the body, and present with the Lord through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There's no other name. There's no other hope. There's no other but Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. May you, after hearing this today, may your heart and your lips, Jesus, Jesus. And yet for some people, Jesus Christ is a cuss. For me, Jesus Christ is the hope. The hope that we preach. The way that we preach. 
the acceptance of God is Jesus Christ. Repentance that I truly am the sinner that God says I am. And as the sinner that I am, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. I'm going to die because I'm a sinner. And I don't want to die without the grace of God. So before I die to get the grace of God, I have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I've got to repent of my sins truly. I've got to be sorry and turn for my old ways. I've got to remain to get that new birth. The Bible says, for you must be born again. And if the Bible is true and the Bible is correct, then it is. If I were to get the new birth by Jesus Christ alone, if I were to put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone, if I were to deposit my sins on the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, the wages of death is still happening. But if I could die in Jesus, I'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord forever and ever. And that my righteousness and my hope is only in Jesus and Jesus only. You say, well, preacher, I've done this. If it's not Jesus, you're going to hell. I do this. If it's not Jesus, you're going to hell. I believe this. If it's not Jesus, it's hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, that is God, except by Jesus Christ. You cannot approach God with your pastor, your priest, Mary, anything but Jesus. He will not accept it. Jesus will tell you, depart from me, you, you, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. If you come in the presence of God outside Jesus Christ, God doesn't know you. The only name for salvation that God knows is the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. There's no other name. It ain't Baptist. It ain't baptism. It's Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. God who suffered and died on that cross, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. It's the same message. It's the same hope. Time after time after time. It is Jesus Christ to get you to heaven. For many of you, as the Bible says, many will go the broad way. For many of you, you'll find out that these messages are true after you died and you go off to a place called hell. That's too late. That's just too late. Because once you die, you cannot change your position. You cannot come back from the grave and get a redo. That's not possible. Death is final. Once you finally take that last breath, that last heartbeat, if you do it without Jesus Christ, you're without hope. When the Bible says Jesus Christ is the blessed hope, and you will not put your trust in Jesus. You are hopeless without Jesus. You are hopeless in your religion. You are hopeless of your beliefs, if it's outside the beliefs of God. And God manifested in the flesh, Jesus. That is your hope. That is your salvation. That is brought to you by Jesus Christ.